So shalom, 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 brothers and sisters. Uh, welcome to the Worshippers Retreat. My name is Rhonda, and I pray you all are having an awesome day today. So the title of this video is Giants at Midnight. Um, gi well, Giants in the Night. And I had this um, dream uh, Sunday, and I have the time for like 6, 12 a.m., uh, so in this particular dream, brothers and sisters, like I was in, um, it was, it was, it hadn't gotten nighttime yet, but, um, I was at my parents' house and across the street, I saw, um, uh, one of my, uh, my sisters in Christ. I saw one of my friends and I was, I hadn't seen her in a while. I was like, oh, like that's her, you know, let me go uh, speak to her and stuff. And so she was in the house, um, praying and stuff. And, um, she had, I believe she had a guest that had came to stay, stay with her that was praying. And so, uh, long story short, brothers and sisters, we, uh, started getting caught up. And so, uh, uh, caught up together and so I but I could still I mean c c start getting caught up because we hadn't seen each other in a while and so what happened was I um I could see outside of the window and it started getting night really quick so I went to go back over to my parents house brothers and sisters and she came outside uh with me and you know to walk me back but she she locked the door and I went to go turn brothers and sisters and I saw it wasn't it wasn't quite night yet because I could hear children playing down the street and I saw this huge giant and it was the giant wasn't looking at me but the giant was looking straight ahead at I guess the child and the giant looked like it had been from another time frame, brothers and sisters, um, because you know how when you like when you edit a picture and all around there's color, but when you edit the picture and all around is color, and you can you have the option to make the the picture itself black and white well that's how it was and so it was a giant from it was y'all just let me know it was a giant from um the past or whatever and so uh the giant was walking it was taller than the trees and it had on like really really old clothes and um it just looked dirty and so uh, by that time another giant came that was uh A little behind it um yeah that was a little behind it and started walking and so what happened was like I immediately knew that the giant because the children were still outside playing they had and uh the people down the street weren't, weren't really paying attention and the thing is brothers and sisters like I could actually sense I could actually sense the giants um energy like i could sense the evil i could feel the evil all around yeah i could feel the evil all around uh brothers and sisters and so um me and my friend i told her i said oh my gosh don't talk loud but we have to hurry up and get back in the house and so she she kept trying she had the key ch kept trying to get in the house but for some reason brothers and sisters it was hard for us to get in that house back in the house and so it's like y'all held the giant off until we could get back in the house and what happened was um i the giant ate i heard the child start screaming and i heard the child's mother uh start screaming brothers and sisters i heard the child's mother start screaming and I heard the child, the, the the child being eaten, and I was I was mortified. And so we, so we finally, right when we got into the house, that's when the giant came. And so, um, the girl, the other girl that was in the house, um, her guest, uh, she was like, "What's the matter?" We told her, "It's like it's a giant outside. There are giants outside." 
And so she was like, what? So they went and because the giant had walked back off, but the giant walked off brothers and sisters and they could and it was kind of like high and in the trees. I don't know. If it, it had to have been crouching because um, initially the giant's head was over the tower and over the trees. But when she when they went to look out, open the door to look, um, they couldn't see the giant, but I could, I could see it. I could sense it. And so the giant was looking dead at me. Like I couldn't, I could sense the giant and the Holy spirit was speaking in my ear and telling me that the giant was looking dead at me, brothers and sisters. And so, uh, they kept saying, we can't see it. And so the giant finally came from high and, and they hurry up and got the door shut and the giant went behind the house. And so the giant was not even focused on, even though they were believers, two brothers and sisters, because uh, she's a prophetess too, um, powerful. Even though the giants uh, was not, even though the giant was behind, it was her house that they were behind, brothers and sisters. Like, he wasn't really focused on those two. He was focused on me. And so, what I began to do is I began to pray in tongues. And, and they started praying in tongues, too. And that's what kept the giant at bay. As long as we prayed in tongues, brothers and sisters, um, the giant could not mess with us. And so, um, yeah, when I woke up, Y'all was telling me, you know, he reminded me of another dream I had where I had it. It was like a black. I was thrown into a black hole and these giants were uh, a giant was coming at me and I started praying in tongues, brothers and sisters, and the giant started uh, crumbling. And so he stressed the importance of being able to pray in the spirit. And if brothers and sisters, if you can't, because some people try to make people feel guilty um, or like their prayers are ineffective if they don't pray in, in tongues or whatever, just praying in the spirit. No, your prayers still, um, your prayers still count. Um, but if you can pray about it, ask y'all to give you the gift of tongues because it will, it's going to be very powerful for the times ahead and the end times. And y'all actually, um, uh, wants me to focus more of my videos on, um, preparing you guys showing you how to war in the spirit and preparing you guys for the end times and um knowing how to uh combat the evil because in these times uh, here ahead if I, uh y'all says money is not gonna help having a, a degree or a title brothers and sisters is not gonna help having social status is not gonna help it's your relationship with yashua hamashiach that's going to help brothers and sisters is your gift is is your spiritual gifts that's going to help you combat um the evil that's coming and an obedient life a surrendered life to Yah. that's what's going to help brothers and sisters and so a lot of people that have been mocking um true prophets a lot of people that have been mocking the wise men and wise women are just if you just uh, a child of Yah, um it's going to be a switch okay you're going to see, you're going to know those that who, who are really walking in power. Um, because y'all will have us. He's giving me many end time dreams of us uh, casting out, uh, doing deliverance on people, um, healing people, all that stuff. So if you notice anything about the scriptures, even when uh, Yeshua was crucified and the disciples were scattered. There still was a great move of Yah's power. Uh, the Holy Spirit came forceful and people were getting saved. So that will still be happen, happening during these times that are coming, uh, brothers, sisters, brothers and sisters, even during the persecution. And so Yah, he's been talking to me about uh, praying in the spirit. He's been talking to me about uh, warring in the spirit and stuff and teaching you guys... Um, and some of y'all already know it, uh, spiritual warfare, because you're going to need it to stand these end times, brothers and sisters. And some of the persecution will come from other believers, brothers and sisters, believe it or not. I've seen that in a lot of my, uh, in a lot of my, the, the dreams and visions that y'all has given me. 
It's not just going to be the world or unbelievers. It'll be some of y'all's own people. And um, I'll probably do a separate video on the danger of being fearful in those times. Not saying that you're not going to have any fear, but that's why y'all is having us to prepare now and build ourselves build ourselves up by reading the word, by fasting and praying, by singing songs, um, and surrendering ourselves to y'all. Yeah, so now is the time, like I always say, is to get in the secret place and to stay there. Um, y'all has been telling me like he took a lot of people out of their jobs to, in fact, to prepare them for the times ahead. And instead of us complaining, like a lot of us know it's hard. It might be hard, um, you know, because you like you used to working and stuff. But y'all says he's teaching you how to depend on him. He said the judge shall live by faith. Um, we walk by faith and not by sight, brothers and sisters. And so, um, yeah, I just want us to build ourselves up, up in the most, most holy faith. The scripture said that faith coming by hearing, hearing by the word of Yah. So you have to be putting it in you. Like when the scriptures, like I often give a, a example of the ants, how the scripture said to be like the ants, they store for the wintertime during the summertime. Well, this right here is the summertime, brothers and sisters. Yeah, we know we have things happening in the news and stuff. And um, and we have things like de a lot of deaths in the family um, happening all around, brothers and sisters. But we are, we know, we also know that there are even worse times coming that we have to be prepared for and we have to keep we have to stay focused um silence the distractions brothers and sisters and keep our minds stayed on y'all and sometimes that can be hard some if i'm honest sometimes i don't feel like praying but i don't have a choice <laughs> when you experience when you used to warfare brothers and sisters i do not you do i do not have a choice uh brothers and sisters because you not engaging in spiritual warfare is not going to stop Satan from fighting. It's not going to stop the kingdom of darkness. It's not going to stop witches and warlocks, brothers and sisters. They're still going to be throwing their, th their, their darts. And unfortunately, a lot of churches don't teach how to engage in spiritual warfare. And so, um, y'all yeah, is telling me. He'll have me here and there doing videos on um, spiritual warfare. Cause Holy Spirit taught me, <laughs> I had to learn. Um, I had to learn. So yeah. So I'll be back with more videos. Um, so be prepared now, brothers and sisters, learn as much scripture as you can quote as much scripture. Um, Holy Spirit will help you memorize it. And if you can't memorize it now, it's okay. It's okay. It said the Holy Spirit will uh, bring things back to your remembrance and so be fasting and praying when and be led by the holy spirit when you're fasting also don't just oh, i'm just going i'm deciding to fast no be led by the holy spirit so shalom